show you how to make these foods fun and delicious and how really great tasting they can be and I'm going to just blow away the old negative myths about what vegetarian food is or isn't and I'm going to show you how to make what I call gourmet whole foods cuisine. So, so you're making tartan for us. Yeah. Because these are these little tasty, uh, tiny little open faced sandwiches. Mm -hmm. The first one requires a little bit of cooking. Let me tell you about tofu. It's sort of mm. gotten a bad rap, but it's a plant protein. You know, Vegetarian Times did a study. Almost 40 million people want to eat meatless meals. Mm -hmm. And this is where something like tofu mm. comes in beautifully. Well, if you can find I it on love our beets. Website. Yeah, I yeah. love beets and salads, but I hate to have pink salads. Right. So if you mix it. <laughs> it's a good in idea. With your Salad dressing, a little honey, mustard, it's beautiful. Excellent. And Gendry, <laughs> helping us eat <laughs> better. Hi, I'm Ann Gentry, and welcome to my kitchen. On Naturally Delicious today, we're making classic diner food, but without the meat. You know, we are so lucky here in California because it's summertime and everything grows so well here. And you just see it. You see the abundance of all the great fruits and vegetables the tomatoes, the strawberries, the peaches, the berries, the greens. I love it. So let's talk about organic. You know, it's a big buzzword these days and has been in the last couple of years. Yeah. What does it mean to you? The flavor point, definitely, Yeah. is at its strongest peak That's... when it's grown in season yes. and when it's freshly yes. picked. You know what? Get ready to start picking. It's the creation of Ann Gentry, oh, yeah. the best-known yeah. vegetarian chef in greater L.A. Or is that vegan? I grew up in the South, Where Memphis, Tennessee. Oh. Standard American diet, so Southern lot, style. That's why I love all my... Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I go back there now, and I have no interest. I'm, I'm interested in how they do it, but I'm not interested in eating it. I mean, you can make barbecue yeah. sauces and stuff like yes. that, right? Yeah. Okay. First up, the red bean stew and some very strong onions. Uh, Suzanne uh, Summers told me this. What'd she say? You put your face in the freezer. Oh. <laughs> what happened to the, I thought it was a match in your mouth. <laughs> Who knows? I'll try well, anything. does it work? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> here with uh, Ann Gentry, a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Tom. We're going to have some, some vegan cooking. Yeah, nachos. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't get any more regular than nachos, only... I don't know how regular we'll be after we eat them, but... <laughs> <laughs> Doug, I want to take you on because okay. look, the deal is if you want to talk about the environment, right. this is where you get to talk about it every mm -hmm. single day because mm -hmm. people eat right. three meals a day and a lot of other food along the way. And if you really want to make an environmental impact, it is lowering your consumption of animal products. Oh, we Open have something the in the oven? Oh. oh, yes, look at that. <laughs> and clearly. Oh, it must be in the microwave. <laughs> and clearly, That's it. the <laughs> oven enjoyed it. Well, you know, the number one tip I can give to everybody out there who's putting together a breakfast for themselves is figure it out the night before exactly what you're going to make yourself. Well, that sounds always gives you mm -hmm. the chill and the, and the crunchy consistency you want without having to add a lot of ice. In there. Hey, you want to come work at my restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Soy is the only plant protein that's equivalent to animal protein. Okay. So you're getting a great, you know, hit. That's what we need in the morning. So uh -huh. we set ourselves up for the day. That with a piece of fruit on the go in the car, you yes. know, in your lunchbox, in your backpack, in your purse, you can't go wrong. For me, picnics were all about fried chicken and side dishes slathered in mayonnaise. Well, today, with a little imagination and some familiar flavors, I'm going to show you how to make healthier versions of these old-time favorites. In honor of the holidays, we've taken our show on the road, and we're at my dear friend Justine's house. We're here in her kitchen, and we are preparing a completely vegetarian feast for a holiday party that we're throwing tonight. You know, I'm getting excited because we're almost at the finish line. <laughs> Oh, and bless you. <laughs> you are an amazing accomplice. As a parent, it's your job to make sure your kids are eating well. I firmly believe it's one of the most important ways you can teach them to live well, to respect their bodies, the earth, and the labors of love that go into preparing the foods that nourish them. Eat well and eat in good health. I'll see you next time. That's why I always like to have cut carrots, celery, and red peppers in the... Hey. <clears throat> Chunky bananas in it. Okay, that's the end of that. Sorry. <laughs>